Hey guys, Bigfoot here. Well, I'm uh, out with Steve and his family, and we're gonna try to find some mushrooms, and then we're gonna try to catch some fish and have some dinner. Steve brought his kids and his wife, so let's go see if we can find some. Hey, I think I found a morel. Nope, I didn't. <laughs> it's a stick. Look just like one. And here's a mushroom, but this is am Amanita. Hey, here's a Gyromitra false morel. Can't eat those, but you can eat the Gyromitra Montanas. Montana Gyromitras are really good. All right, guys. Hey, here's some. Uh, here's a cool plant. This is wild ginger. Smells like ginger. Tastes like ginger. I'm gonna pick some. It's really early right now, but it's gonna be tasty. So I like to get down, get the roots. Here. Kinda. It's off to the side here. There's some more right here, little itty bitty ones. There's one, there's a better one right here. There we go. Yeah, a nice big ginger root there. And I'll take that and uh, have that with whatever I decide to eat tonight. See? Heart yeah. Smooth. Yep. And then when you pick it, you want to kind of go down a little bit under it, and then kind of the root, the the yeah, part. kind of shake it like that. You want the leaves don't really matter. And there it is. The ginger root. Hmm. Yeah, that's awesome. What'd you do with it? Look, Hazel found a... Look, Hazel found a shed. That's a nice shed. <laughs> like, I think it was right here. Was it? Yeah. I think so. Somewhere right in here. But the other ones might not be super far. Yeah, there you, yeah, you, oh, here it is, I found it. Nice. Cool. That was a, that was a nice buck. Yeah, that's, look at the eye guards on that yeah. thing. Yeah. Found the other side. Woo-hoo. You can rattle. Oh, uh, he's big. <laughs> yeah, it's like, it's like a delk. Yeah. <laughs> and stuff. And, yeah, and it's super thicker. dark. That's awesome. That's cool. Sweet. Action set. Yeah. I like it. That's, you wrap yeah. them together, see? Oh, wait. Is that? Yeah, it is. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. a nice. Yeah, that's a That nice would have buck. been a big buck. Yeah. Yeah. Just barely chewed on. Yeah. Yeah, they're pretty fresh. Yeah. Yep. So definitely this year. Wedges. That's cool. Down here on Muir Creek in Oregon, Southern Oregon. And uh, if you know where that is, it's a cool place. Not very many people out here which is amazing i like spots where there's less human interaction got steve and his family here uh well they'll be they'll be here in a minute but yeah i'm gonna see if i can get some dinner get my gopro set up here all right let me show you what we're looking at beautiful fly fishing hole i'm gonna start up and we'll work our way down start right in here
thing. Is raging. I think we're gonna find some place else to fish. All right, guys. Well, we found some cool elites here, so I'm not gonna starve. They're a little old, so I'm gonna do some looking around and see if I can find some fresher ones. But if I can't, I'll come back and grab these. Well, guys. Looks like I'm going to take those mushrooms that uh, we found that they're a little bit past their prime, but they're still edible. So, let's see. This one it'll still has some good meat in it. So peel away the part that's eaten by bugs. I'll take home this chunk. Hey guys, well, uh, fishing was tough today. Um, I didn't bring anything home to cook. I caught a fish and then I uh, was gonna keep it, it was a small one, but uh, set it on the bank and it flopped right back into the water. And it's okay that it got away, like I said, it, it was pretty small. But what I did find, take my jacket off, What I did find is some crawdads uh, right down around the pillar of this bridge that I was fishing here. And I got this, uh, so I have this baggie here. Uh, it was my uh, new leader for my flying pole, just in case I needed one. And I'm gonna put the crawdads in here because that's all I have to put them in. I wasn't planning on catching crawdads, but I saw these. Um, and so I'm gonna reach down here and grab these and that'll be good for dinner. big but I'll eat them well it's not much but uh, I got five crawfish there that's gonna be good I might see if I can find some more of those tomorrow uh, hopefully I get the fish tomorrow but all right well uh, I'm gonna hike out of here and uh, I think I saw some lambs quarter back I'm gonna check out and if it is I'm gonna pick that and have that for dinner too all right We'll catch you in a little bit. Well, I found some crawdads. I caught a little fish. I was going to keep it, but then it flopped back in the water. So I guess it wasn't meant for me to keep. It was pretty small anyway. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of glad it, it went back in the water. But uh, so we're not going to have a big meal today. I was kind of counting on getting some fish. I guess that'll teach me. Waters are just raging in the rivers right now. We got so much snow melt and. Uh, so it's a little bit hard to fly fish, but I'll get one. I'll uh, I'll get some fish. But 
So tonight I'm gonna have some crawdads that I caught, and then I here at my house we got some thistles, and uh, have some crawdads, uh, some thistle. I'll put some wild ginger in there, a little bit of plantain. That'll give me some uh, potassium, and uh, yeah. My favorite part of these thistles is the root. Um, the, the heads aren't quite big enough yet. They're still really early. They're getting height. They won't be too long, but uh, tiny little heads on them. Yep, so I'm just going to get some of these roots. We'll just break off a few little roots. All right, so we got a few thistle roots, and grab a little bit of this uh, plantain here, and grab some of this plantain. Get some of this plantain to go with our thistle roots and our um, and our uh, crawdads. Okay. Our wild ginger. Ginger is going to give it a nice flavor. Okay. It's not going to be a huge meal, but we better than nothing. I'll get I'll get more food tomorrow. All right. Well, we're going to make our crawdad. Crawdad soup. <laughs> so first thing I gotta do is gonna put some water in the pot. I'm not gonna put much water because we don't have much to put in it. Um, and then we'll get the pot boiling and we'll add um, the crawdads and we'll shut it off boiling stops and add our leaves so in the meantime while that's boiling I'm gonna rinse my uh, my roots off from my thistle and uh, we'll rinse our ginger root off and our plantain leaves our dandelion leaves and uh, some flatweed leaves I don't know if I captured it very well but in case I didn't Here's a wild ginger leaf, and that's the root. And that'll give us a little bit of flavoring, and it's good for you. And we'll just turn off that real quickly. All right, so we got our little crawdads from uh, earlier. And the water is not quite boiling. And uh, this is a 30-day challenge of what I forage, uh, kill with my bow or trap. Um, or catch with my fishing pole. So I'm not going to put any extra salt or pepper or butter or anything like that in here. I'm just going to drop these in there and we're going to let nature uh, flavor our meal. Uh, I will go ahead and I'll drop these uh, thistle roots in. And I might just chop them up a little bit. Thistles take a little bit longer to cook, but when they're when they're uh, when they're tender, they're really good. And the leaves, uh, we won't add the leaves until after the boil stops. We'll boil the, the uh, crawdads, uh, cry, crawfish, crayfish, crawdads, whatever you call it, and then we'll add all of our uh, our greens. And uh, I don't want to add that when it's boiling because it get, it makes the flavor kind of off. Okay, we're coming to a boil here. And uh, inside there, we've got our thistle roots and in go our crawdads. I 
doesn't take very long to cook crawfish. Okay. And they're red. So now I'm going to turn the heat down to uh, probably a real low, like a two. We'll let that boil stop. And I'm going to go ahead and break this ginger root in a few pieces. And as soon as that boiling slows down a little bit, I'll throw this ginger in. All right, our boil is slowing down. So I'll throw that ginger in there like that. And give it a little, little stir. Okay. And I'm going to just let that kind of cook on low for probably five to ten minutes. Um, until that uh, um, thistle root kind of softens just a little bit. And that will give the crawdads a little bit time to finish cooking. They were only in there for 30 seconds. They're probably done, but um, it's fine. I don't mind having overdone crawfish. Okay, now we'll just go ahead and throw in our greens. I'll cut them in half there and we'll throw those in. All right, our soup is done. And uh, go ahead and Pour it in this bowl here. Our roots or hot ads. All right, here we go. First meal of the 30 day porridge challenge. First thistle root. I really like thistle roots. They're good. A little woody, but they're good. Mm. I just chew them up and uh, get the inner meat out. Then the woody part I discard. Mm. Not bad though. Pretty good. Now we got a a uh, thistle leaf. I believe that's what that is. Either a thistle leaf or a uh, dandelion leaf. Mm. Those are even better. Those are like spinach. That's a dandelion leaf. Definitely. Another thistle root. Mm. Those have such a good flavor. Mmm. So good. They're like a like an artichoke kind of, almost like yeah, kind of like an artichoke. They're good. Those are small roots, so um, a lot more of the woodiness. But uh, you get some bigger ones, you get a lot more meat out of them. Hmm. But they taste really good. All right. Now we're down to a couple little. Oh, wait. Got a, um, a plantain leaf here. Got a little bit bigger leaves, so they're kind of a bit bitter. But. If you're used to them, they're good. I, I don't mind it being a little bit bitter. We got our little crawdads here. Get rid of the shell. All right. 
A little crawdad. Oh, that's really good. Mm. That makes all the difference. Mm. Okay. Another thistle root. Yeah. Those thistle roots are really good. If you haven't tried them, try them sometime. They're good. They really are like an artichoke cart flavor. Really good. I'm um, not just saying that. They're good. Mm. Good for you, too. And probably most of the meals um, that I'm going to have on this 30-day challenge, uh, I'm probably going to um, boil it because you get all the vitamins that way. Um, it's the best way to cook pretty most foods. I might cook a fish or so over a fire. Uh, like I said, the water is raging right now in all of our creeks and rivers, so it might be a few days or a week or something before I can really start getting some fish. But that's why it's important to know uh, more things to eat than just fish. Hmm. Those things are really good. Another crawdad. This one's got bigger pinchers. I love the pinchers. Oh. There are tiny pinchers, but they're bigger pinchers than the other one. So I just usually, uh, oops. I usually just get the joint cracked open and then I just suck the meat out. Good stuff, good, uh, good for uh, iron, got a lot of iron. Ooh, nice, I just got a piece of ginger in there. That was really good. All right, well, we ate all the roughage and the um, crawdads. Now we just got a little bit of ginger, a little bit of ginger in here and the broth. It's important to eat the broth, or drink the broth, because it's got all the nutrients in it when you're done. Mm. It's actually really good. One more little piece of ginger root in there. And about, I don't know, quarter cup of broth left. And that's that. That's our first meal on our 30 day challenge. Uh, doing uh, uh, foraging, fishing, uh, hunting and trapping. All right, well, that's for tonight. Tomorrow morning, see if I can find something. I might just skip breakfast tomorrow morning. I'm going to try to get some fish tomorrow evening and then uh, uh, smoke them. That way I got breakfast and lunch for the next few days. Well, till tomorrow, this is Bigfoot. And uh, hey, like and subscribe, and we'll catch you next time. All right.